Hey, uh, so I watched you a lot of practice so far. You're a big talker. Love to talk. Um, I saw you struggle with the heat early on, right? So right. I guess just how comfortable do you feel like the last week, two weeks have really gotten you ready for what's ahead? Yeah, you know, just uh, not playing football in so long kind of uh, got me early in the first couple of days. Just trying to get back to the old me. And I've always been that trash talking kind of guy. That's why I compare myself to like Jair Alexander, just having that swagger and trying to bring that energy to the defense to uh, help us win games. Obviously, you know, the defense was a little behind early on, but it looks like you guys have caught up and, and played well. You and Zion on the other side, both kind of learning each other, learning the system, et cetera. Kind of take me through that progression that you've seen as far as getting up to speed and how comfortable are you right now? Um, yeah, just learning the defense more. Me, me being able to uh, actually run the defense, you know, I missed the spring. So now that I'm running the defense and learning it more, me being able to get more confident and more comfortable and being able to play by, like myself. And, you know, Zai doing this thing on the other side. So, you know, me and Zai trying to be the number one corner duo in the country if we can be. So that's just the goal to be DBU and bring, it, uh, bring DBU to that big stage again. Everybody we've talked to about you says you jump routes well, right? What, what goes into that? Uh, I wouldn't say I jump routes. I would just say more of a breaking before the receiver do or breaking because I just uh, a good break on the ball. Just knowing the routes and knowing how uh, how routes and concepts work. So just uh, being ahead of the game helps me play faster and be more confident in my breaks. You really. You're good about not looking in the backfield, looking at your man and reading his hips, kind of thing. Is like yeah, more of it. Just uh, yeah, coming from my freshman year, I was that was what I say I was jumping routes more of my freshman year, and now my getting older and stuff, learning and experience, and I wouldn't say I'm jumping things. More of a, I just know how to uh, play the routes now, knowing the concepts and being more confident on breaking to the ball. Obviously, you're an undersized guy. So, how, what do you make up? What what skill set do you have that makes up for that? Uh, just my IQ on the field, just knowing. Like I said before, the concepts, knowing how the offense uh, works and stuff like that, being more experienced and being playing more football, just knowing more in, uh, in the game. So I think that helped me a lot, just knowing a lot uh, of football, basically. Uh, I've always been like that as a kid. Like, if you ever be around me, I'm just watching football. No matter what I'm doing, I'm just going to watch football. That's all. I just love to watch football. A lot of new faces in the LSU secondary, and while you haven't been here that long, you're kind of the veteran of the group in terms of like you know in-game experience. How have you kind of taken on a leadership role? Um, just you know helping helping each other out. You know, I'm not the only corner in the room, so and I know how I can get uh, losing a corner. You know how we lost Gary Williams last year in Syracuse, and somebody needs to step up. So I know how uh, we need the whole room, not just the first two corners to uh, be great. We need everybody to be great. So knowing um, just knowing the game and trying to teach the younger guys that, so they can be more confident and play faster out there. You're certainly getting tested, right? Let's talk about this wide receiver core that you guys are going against. Just. Great looks for y'all, but how talented are they? Um, very talented. You know, you got guys that got versatility all across the board. You know, you got different kind of guys. You got speed burners, you got route runners, and you got guys that can go up and get the ball. So every day you got to compete and work. Uh, if you're not competing, you're going to uh, get embarrassed out there, basically. So every day you got to compete, and they're going to give you good work. Jersey guy in Louisiana, how's that? How's that working out for you? Uh, man, I'm still, I'm still adjusting to the heat. Man, I've been here since January and still trying to adjust to the heat. You know, uh, being in 100 degrees weather like consecutively is crazy. But you know, I'm still adjusting to it and stuff like that. But I can say I, I pretty, I'm pretty adjusted better now since the first couple of days of practice. Ah, the food is definitely good down here, man. I had. Uh, I had Gator Bites for the first time since I came down here. Uh, what is it, gumbo, jumbo, gumbo, stuff like that. So I'm still learning the food and stuff like that. But, you know, it's good food. It's a good culture down here. You know, it's diff people act different down here and things like that. So I'm still adjusting to it. But, you know, it's pretty fun since I've been down here. What's it like going up against guys like Jaden and Nuss every day in practice? Do they kind of do things to throw you off or do you? Um, you know, we just a lot of trash talking. You know, me and Jay always talking. And, uh, and we uh, talked before camp like, oh, uh, I told him you're going to have 0% thrown to me. So, you know, it's always trash talking, you know, just competitive stuff, just to make each other better. And um, just trying to go uh, win a championship, that's just the number one goal. I thought they had a good question for you over there. Just the idea of coming to the SEC to, to test yourself, is that, is that a real thing for you? Uh, that's definitely a real thing. You know, everybody says the SEC is, a, uh, is the closest thing to the NFL. So, you know, just wanted to come get the competition and uh, better myself on getting ready for the next level. Obviously, yeah, in the SEC, but you're a guy that, you know, you had a lot of hype in the transfer portal, kind of could have went anywhere. What was it about LSU in this program that brought you here? 
I mean, LSU is DBU. Uh, everybody knows that. Any school that says they're DBU just is trying to be a part of the conversation. LSU has always been DBU. I kind of watched guys like Patrick Peterson and Tyron Matthew growing up. So LSU has been my dream school since a child. Everybody know I wanted to go to LSU coming out of high school. Obviously, things ain't go that way, but, you know, God plans and able to get me here. And uh, I'm just grateful for it. Uh, you talked about Zion a little bit, a little bit but um, you know some people say, "Oh, he's coming from a smaller school. How will he hold up?" What do you see from him in practice that makes you think he'll be an SEC player? I mean, he lives up to his his resume. You know, he's a two-time All-American. You wouldn't think he came from a lower school. He's just out here competing and doing what he's supposed to do, and he's gonna be he's gonna have a big year this year.